thank you for coming to the atrium today. We have the Hartwood Consort, which will be playing trio sonatas, uh, mostly Telemann, but one by uh, a Quantz, and also a uh, sonata for, for flute and continuo. So, without further ado, I guess.
it uh, is written in the key of F minor, which has four flats. And for some reason, I've always found this key especially evocative. I don't know if it's just in the hands of Mr. Telemann or just something about the key that speaks to me especially. But I hope you enjoy it as much as I do anyway.
feel free to sing along in this <laughs> You may know the words. Coming today, uh, we have a, by coincidence, a very happy coincidence, uh, Harpe Diem, who's going to share some Celtic and Irish uh, harp music and music for flute. So let's give them a nice welcome. Thank you. 
spending part of your Saturday afternoon with us. This is the inaugural performance for Parfait Diem. <laughs> I am Christine and this is PJ and we met right here in the atrium less than a year ago at the end of a concert that I did with the front porch players and Bert was a member of the front porch players. PJ came up to me at the end of the concert and she said the magic words, I play the flute <laughs> and I also own three harps. <laughs> We've been playing together ever since. We hope you enjoy the concert. Thank you. 
Director for the Bach Festival. Thank you for following me around town. You know, I'm glad to have everybody um, tonight too. Uh, we have an Arts Alive live performance over at Kesey Square until eight o'clock at night, and it's featuring dancers, musicians, and visual artists. And Arts Alive is sponsored by the City of Eugene Cultural Services and Banner Bank. And on the back of your guides, uh, and Jessica has some some guides as well. Um, there are details about that live performance in case you want to catch it before 8 o'clock so you can see part of that. And because I'm with the Bach Festival, we are sponsored tonight too so you get to hear my shameless plug again. Um, and we have some special flyers with discount codes for our festival this summer to some select concerts. So make sure you grab those from Jessica if you're interested in coming to the festival. It opens in less than a month. Yes, the last of month. Um, and we're really busy, at, hard at work. And um, so catch a flyer. We also have some season brochures with, with the full season in there, over 30 performances this year. So I'd love to see all of you again at the festival. And tonight I have with me Mara Tigerson. And I was looking at Mara's work when I was prepping for tonight and just fell in love with your watercolors. It really is it just beautiful and sumptuous, uh, you know, work. And Mara, you were saying before we started about your process outside. You do plain air, and it sounded like you work feverishly outside and you bring it indoors. Can you tell us a little bit about what you were describing? Right. So I try to stop while I still have options. I learned that from Alberto Gonzalez. And so what I do when I'm outdoors, because the light changes so fast, I paint like lightning. I'm just like, when people come up and try to talk to me, I can't talk because I'm making a million decisions a second because depending on the air, how fast it, it dries. So lots of times I don't even hardly know what I'm doing. And then I make myself stop and then I bring it home and I just take my time. Uh, this this painting was done actually started four years ago and I couldn't I didn't know what to do and I stopped I was gonna throw it away and then I just kept it on my wall and then about six months ago or so all of a sudden I knew boom 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 and I did it so a lot of the paintings I'll be stuck and because of my good friend Victoria who saved so many paintings from being thrown away I will sometimes just keep them up on the wall until I figure out what what to do, but I love the immediacy of being in nature, and it's just kind of like a cool excuse to hang out in a beautiful place, and you don't have to talk to humans. And I've got my dog, and it's pretty, it's pretty blissful. <laughs> and you have a dog named Lev, is that right? I'm a dog person too, so I feel like we have a connection there. Yeah, we go camping, we go camping, and he's a hybrid wolf, and I feel very safe, and he's a very great. Yeah, he's. He's a great guy. And so have you have you taught Lev, your your wolf dog, um, to growl if people approach you while you're furiously painting? Is that part of the training? Well, actually I'm trying to train him not to do that so much. And so sometimes I'm literally painting with chunks of turkey meat and saying, down, Lev, down, Lev, shh, down, down. Yeah. Because he gets too, you know, and then I'll he's really good, he does obey, obey commands. But he sometimes he takes the protective thing when I'm painting. When we're just out frolicking, he's happy as can be. But yeah, but it's it's. But he, I feel really safe camping with him. 
I, I would feel safe with a wolf dog too, I have to say. Yeah. yeah. And I also read that um, that you flunked out of sixth grade math. With, and it was the fractions that kind of did you in. Yeah. And yeah. so for anybody else who has a hard time with fractions, there's hope. Yeah. And, and Mara is living proof of that hope. Well, and, and the greatest thing about flunking fractions in sixth grade was my parents, who'd been divorced for a long time, collaborated with one great idea. And they sent me to Walden School in Berkeley. And that wow. was the greatest academic year of my entire life. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's Thoreau and Emily Bronte, if you read my artist statement. Um, yeah, so I, I know how to do fractions now. <laughs> Mara, was there anything else that you wanted to tell us about your paintings? You were commenting on this beautiful work there on the end. Would you like to talk about that work? Um, this is, again, most of my work is done in Bolinas, California, which is about 30, 40 miles north of San Francisco on, on the ocean. And this is a path off of Agate Beach. And I was telling Janelle. Janelle that this is the result of actually several bad paintings. So, I mean, I get hooked on a scene and then I just keep going there and working and working on it until I get it just right. And the thing that makes this such a sacred place is nobody hardly knows about Jack Creek's path. So, only the locals. And so, I'm pretty secluded back there so I can really work so it, it, it's it's, really yeah yeah I love that one too there's post there's uh what do you call it um prince prince I don't know no there's not prince of that one but there's there's mm -hmm. hard yeah yeah and most of the paintings were then well you can also see the clear lake paintings and anyhow there's a variety but um Thank you, and, and so I want to open it up for questions. If you're if you're open to that, Mara, uh, do you have any questions for Mara? No questions? Oh, I'm sure you have it's questions. A bashful group. No, they're not bashful. I've been with them a while. We were wondering. We were talking about the paper that you were oh, taking. I was trying to explain it to him about the hobby Dawson papers. Yeah. Well, I paint on a 140 pound Arches cold press, sometimes hot press, and I was telling this young woman that the haagen of watercolor paper is 300 pounds, yeah, arches, and that is, yeah, I, I, but I feel so constricted, like, God, you know, it's so expensive, I gotta, I gotta do a really good painting, so that kind of makes me long. Yeah. yeah. Any, any other questions for Mara? No? Well, I know that you will approach as you're looking at her beautiful work. Um, and we will be leaving here at Out of a Limb, Out on a Limb, uh, by 7:20. So that gives us a little bit more time. And then we'll head over to Oregon Art Supply, and we'll start back up at 7:30 over there. But please do spend some time talking to Mara about her work and, and take it in. It's really quite gorgeous, um, and uh, and other things in this in this fine establishment as well. Let's hear it from our... Bravo! Bravo.